In this video, I'll show you how to install a Slage keyless entry deadbolt lock. In the package, you're going to find the instructions, all necessary hardware, the unit itself, and a key and a bolt. I'm pretty fortunate in that I'm replacing an already existing slage lock, which means that all of these pre-drilled holes are probably going to fit, as well as this plate. It's got a little bit of paint on it. I gotta touch this up, but it's the exact same strike plate. So if that wasn't the case, you'd probably have to get out your chisel and drill and make sure that you could get this to fit. And this does come in two pieces. There's a backing piece that drills in with some three inch screws, and then there is the decorative front piece. Which right now, mine isn't all that decorative. I'm gonna have to clean that up. So let's start by taking the old lock off. Simple matter of removing these two screws and the whole unit should come apart. Pretty simple, as I unscrew this, both sides of the lock are just going to pull away from the door and then I'll be able to remove that bolt. So it'll come off like that and then the lock mechanism on the other side will be free as well. And there we go. That comes right off. Since I'm using a slage lock, I'll bet I can just use the one that's in place, but I'll show you what to expect anyway. And sure enough, this is identical. The things that you want to pay attention to, it says top right there. And you want to make sure that that is facing the top. And there is a sticker here that reminds you to keep that bolt pushed in throughout the installation. So it's the exact same type, so I'm not going to take it out. But if I did, it would be a simple matter of taking this, sticking it in place, and then screwing the plates on. So I got lucky there. However, this can be adjusted by turning this. And what that does when you turn this is it moves that closer or further away. So you can adjust for the distance from the edge of the door to the center of this hole because you do want that to be centered. So right now, the way I have it would be correct. If I were to turn that this way, it would be too far in, too far to the right. So in my case, that's where I would want it to be. Of course it would be. So the top is facing the top. So next we're going to install the plate. I want to make sure that of course it's facing the right direction. All of this wiring has to go above the bolt. And that has to line up so it fits into the notch right there and then just push it in place. Now it's not going to lock or anything yet. It's not going to snap in place because we have to screw it from the other side. So be careful that this doesn't tumble to the ground when you open up the door again. Next we're going to install this face plate on the inside. A couple of things to point out. This cam has to be vertical up and down. I don't know why well, you can see it in video, but there's a small picture of it here. Just showing you this has to be up and down, and there's two arrows there. And these two arrows should line up. So that's the important thing. Now as I put this in from the other side, that wiring harness is going to pass through this hole right here. So those are some things we're going to look for as I install this. This says top right there. So we know what the top is, we know that cam is vertical, and we know the wiring harness comes right through there. So here we go. The wiring harness goes through there. That's vertical. And that slides right together just like that. Now the way we're going to assemble this, make sure these two uh, go together, is with two screws through these two holes. And these are the screws we're going to use. I'm not going to make it really tight, I'm just going to get them both started. 
beautiful day here. You can probably hear the planes out and about. Okay, before I tighten these down, I just want to make sure these plates are straight, both on the front side and the back side. I don't want to screw these down really tight and then having everything be crooked on me. So you can still adjust those a little bit, sliding them around until you get them nice and straight. Okay, now that it's nice and straight, we have to hook up this wiring harness. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna have to make sure that this harness comes up. It was outside this, but we'll just make sure it comes up on the inside. That was nothing we did, it was just on the outside. Now we're gonna hook up the battery, put that there, and tuck these wires in. And this nine volt battery does come with it. And then just make sure that harness is tucked away in there so nothing gets pinched. Just like that. Now is a good time to check that it works. There's a test button on the other side and you can push that button and then turn the latch and see if it works. Push that. And we did a good job. Now we're going to put the interior plate and so you can lock it and unlock it from the inside. The thing to be aware of is that slot right there has to line up as you install this. There we go. Now I'm going to put the screws in here and here since we know that that works. Let's program this. Every lock comes with its own programming code. So I'm not going to show you the codes, but I'll show you the process. We start by entering our programming code, which is six digits. Then I press slage. Then it turns blue. Then I push one. And I wait for three orange lights and three beeps. Then I enter my new code and we get three orange beeps and I do it again and the green light came on so I should be successful. So I should be able to put in my code and lock this. Okay, there it locked. Now let's see if we can open it with my new code. And it works. Now admittedly I did take a little bit of a shortcut because I already had the holes drilled and my bolt was in place. Putting the bolt in place is not that big a deal. You slide it in and uh, put in a couple screws. Drilling the holes however, in the instructions they do give you the size and the locations in order to drill those two holes. One in the side of the door and one in the face of the door. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I encourage you to like and share the video. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face up there in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm Mark, and this is The Average Me Channel.